Hi everybody, I wasn't sure if my camera was on. I'm using my laptop, laptop today because I'm just too lazy to get my camera which is on my phone and set it up, blah blah blah. I'm here in my front room, living room as most people say, and I thought I'd come on and do a little chit chat. I might get interrupted. My dad is out for a walk and he might be calling or coming home soon. And uh, so I'll have to open the garage door. Anyway, um, I've been wanting to make a video, a uh, makeup video for a while now, but I've been in this like long flare. <clears throat> so sorry. For those of you that are new to me, I have uh, lupus and fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis. I also have asthma and COPD, although the COPD is very uh, mild at this point and it's not progressing. Um, so hopefully it won't. <clears throat> anyway, um, so I live with chronic illness and I live with chronic illnesses that are painful. They make me tired. Think of yourself if you were in pain for basically years, whether it's a level one, very low, or a hundred. <laughs> the pain charts in hospitals, doctor's office always do like one to 10. It's not enough. I have been in pain throughout my body and in certain spots for so long that sometimes I really don't even know when that I'm hurting as bad as I am. I'll give you a little example. Uh, last month, beginning of the month, I think it was, doesn't matter. I went to get some Botox for my 11s, which you can still see. We did a very low dose. It was done at a med spa, and I did get the approval of my dermatologist who treats me for psoriatic arthritis, another thing that causes pain. Um, and so I had a consultation, and I'm not going to get into price and all that, but it was done at a med spa. Um, I'm also doing some laser hair removal. That was the first thing that I wanted to get. And then I started seeing pictures of myself, and I could see the lines, and it really bothered me because it makes me look like I'm angry, and I'm really not an angry person. So getting back to the story... I went and got some Botox, and I've seen videos of people getting Botox, and I, I see them, you know, um, in pain, and people say, oh, it's worth the pain, and this and that, and, and I'm not saying that those people don't have that pain when the needles go in, but I had two needles, one and one, and then I had two, I mean, one and one. So I had like four shots, let's just say. And each time she put the needle in, I was expecting this pain. You know, I sort of like kind of braced myself. And after she did like the second one, I was like, hmm, this is weird. I'm not really feeling anything. And then she reminded me, you know, you do have chronic illnesses that cause that give you pain. So your tolerance to, or your pain, pain tolerance, that's it, is probably higher than a lot of people. Um, not that I'm better or anything, because believe me, I would rather have no pain and feel needles going in. So, I mean, I did feel them, but they didn't bother me, you know. In fact, I'm going to be going back at the end of this month, February, and getting some more treatment for the laser laser hair removal. And I'm going to get a touch up of just this area. This area here has kind of raised a little, which I like. <clears throat> it never fails that I start to get raspy when I'm going to be making a video. So anyway, getting back to this flare. 
uh, we went to a dear friend of my husband's funeral. We flew to DC and um, it was hard, you know, emotionally, physically, especially in the airport. I do have a little scooter that I ride like in big malls and stuff, but I didn't want to take the scooter because it's you know, they're very nice and everything. They take it for you. They bring, they put it down in the cargo area. You know, it's inspected to make sure that there's nothing in it or on it or whatever, which I am all for any inspections or them checking anything because I want to be on a plane that's safe. So inspect away. You know, I know that I'm not a person that's going to do something, but you never know who, you know. But this time I told Rob, my husband, I'm not going to bring the scooter so that we can just bring one suitcase and, you know, I'll carry my my purse and then like a little tote bag to put like my iPad and a book and journal and stuff like that. So that's what we did. And we ended up actually taking a backpack that he used as a carry-on. Um, that had uh, our CPAP machines in there because <clears throat> we both use CPAPs. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's very emotional, very emotional. And I don't think I felt the physical part of hurting and seeing my husband hurt so bad to be attending a funeral. There's my dad. Okay, so I'm back. So, you know, we timed everything with the trip. Oh, what was I saying about my husband? Um, the man that passed away was my husband's best friend of over 40 years. You know, how do I comfort him through that? You know, and even it's been two weeks and he is starting to feel it a little bit more. So I'm really there for him as much as I can. Try to bring up really good memories of the two of them. <coughs> Can't stand that. Anyway. Um, so, you know, when you're going through it, you're trying to be strong for everybody. And so you kind of like, you're like real tight. And, you know, we, we timed and planned the trip so that I would be able to, you know, get rest and he would be able to get rest and we weren't really rushing. So that was good. But when we came back home, we came back on a Sunday and I was okay. I was a little tired, you know, just regular tired. Um, and then when we, uh, when like Tuesday came around, bam, everything from, you know, trying to be strong, being so sad that this 56 year old man who is so great to the world, to the people that he knew, was a great father, was a, a great, was a wonderful grandfather, a, a really good friend, you know, to go through all that, you know. I'm going to put you on hold again. Okay, back again. So, um, my husband's in the kitchen, well, and he's not mocking, but he's, he's just playing fun. He just got home from work. Anyway, as I was saying, um, it was just was really, really sad. And I think my body just was like, you know, we're just going to slow down for a little bit. So Tuesday, I woke up very tired. And I call it lupus tired because it's different than just normal. I get normal tired too. You know, if I'm busy doing things. Um, I'm tired, I'll go lay down, take a little nap, whatever, or I go to sleep early, which is rare. Um, lupus tired is a tired where you're hurting, you're feeling just achy all over. It is exactly what it's like without the drippy nose and the fever, and so and sometimes you get low-grade fever, so, but it's exactly like having the flu, where you just want to be in bed. And you just want to cover up and just sleep. And sometimes, majority of the time, you can't sleep. So, 
<clears throat> I had that for about a week. Today's Wednesday, and I am feeling. Today's Wednesday. Yes, I am feeling better. I was able to cook dinner yesterday and Monday too, which was good because um, I love to cook. I love to have the energy to cook, and um, I cook like everything homemade. I'm not a canned person, frozen. Um, it's just generations of people in my family, mostly women, that we just always cooked fresh, good food. And um, yeah, I'll cook like frozen vegetables, but you know, I spice them up. I, I, I do something with them. I don't just like put them in the microwave and put them on a plate or, you know, put them in a boiling pot of water. You know, I zazz it up somehow. But uh, yeah, because like my, my mom always did that and her sisters and my grandmother and my dad's mother and my aunt. And, and, and you know, so it's just always been a part of my life. So I know no different. You know, the first time I ever had um, frozen food or I don't remember the frozen, but the first time I ever had canned food, I was by a neighbor and friend's house and we had SpaghettiOs. And later on, many years later, when Rob and I were married, you know, all that, I once in a while buy SpaghettiOs, but put like a ton of Parmesan cheese on it. But I don't buy them anymore because it's just, it's canned and I just can't. And, and nothing, no offense to anybody that they like canned food, but it, when you're not used to it, when it's not a part of like your diet, your what you eat every day as you grow up, it's a very, it just doesn't affect you right. Anyway, so um, today I am feeling better. And I know that I'm feeling better because I felt a little bored. And I know that sounds like, well, why would that make you know that you feel better. I guess when I'm flaring or when I'm feeling sick with whatever is bothering me, I just don't really want to do anything. I'm most comfortable at home, in our bed, propped up with pillows, watching something good on TV with my iPad, playing a game or whatever. But when I'm starting to feel better, I'm thinking, hmm, I wish I could be doing this. I wish I could be doing this. But uh, it's not late. It's only like 524, but I have the evening pretty planned out. And I'm going to be starting dinner in about an hour or so, maybe less, and have an evening with my husband and my dad. <clears throat> I really apologize for keeping clearing, keep clearing my throat, but... I have um, acid reflux and it goes up into my throat. For those of you that know or watch Rachel Ray, she has this condition too. It's, it's called LPR and I do take medicine for it, but sometimes it just, it, it really bothers me. It doesn't bother me, but it gives me this raspy throat and I feel like I have to cough, 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 cough. I don't know if you can see this, but... This was one of my Christmas gifts from Rob. It's such a beautiful coin on a gold necklace. And the coin is all gold, too. He's so sweet. I saw it at Macy's before Christmas, and I was like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And he bought it for me. He's lovely. So as you can tell, this little chit-chat's been basically all over. All over, all kinds of subjects. But um, I do want to try maybe tomorrow, if I've got a little bit more energy, to do some makeup related videos because I'm starting to get into makeup again. Uh, after my mom died almost two years ago, I can't believe it's almost two years, but anyway, uh, I, I kind of lost this thing for makeup. Not lipstick, not lipstick, but makeup in general. And I haven't like worn as much. I think for the foundation part, it's done a good job with my skin my skin doesn't like a lot of stuff on it, you know. But I will be doing my skincare video, the video, <laughs> my skincare video, what I have been liking, and I'm going to throw in a few things that I have not liked. 
and some drugstore makeup items. So I do have plans for things that I'm going to be talking about and bringing to you. I don't have any makeup on today, but I do have my Holy Grail um, moisturizer, but you will have to watch the video to find out. <laughs> and I do have a sunscreen that I don't remember the name of it, but Sherry A from the Eyes Have It, she had recommended it, and I love it, love it, love it. Like it gets, it gets a heart. It is so good. Doesn't irritate my sensitive skin, but you'll have to watch my skincare video to find out the name. <laughs> I sound like one of those big YouTubers. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. Anyway, I hope you're having a good uh, time of day, whatever time of day you're watching this. And I will be back with you very soon. And the picture will be a lot clearer. Although my skin looks like really good when it's blurred. <laughs> See you all later. Bye-bye.